Okay, so these are both four rides, okay, you're hitting that, yeah. as you're hitting the ranger, okay? But we can see now on the left-hand side, when you got the four rind previously, there was quite a big gap. Now, it's not a massive change in terms of that to that <coughs> measurement's probably about that much different, mm. okay? So, but hopefully you can see, sort of, if I zoom in a bit more, you get a feel in that right-hand one now, is a little bit closer to the left-hand one, okay? Just sufficiently enough so the arms are hanging down, nice and relaxed on the shoulders, they're not reaching out too far this way. You'll see more in terms of impact when you come back on this left-hand side now as you come back to the golf ball because you couldn't actually sort of reach the golf ball. Your arms came back to where they wanted to come back and the contact, the fancy, the contact now was that toey one. Hit the golf ball out of the toe of the golf club and the club now spinning and twisting. It's in the face of that club face now sort of reacting. So at the moment, at that point there, that club is actually aiming over there because mm. it's the toe in the club and just slapped through and you lost a lot of energy now with that yeah. shot and that's just you trying to reach your arms coming back down to where the seven nine kind of would be every club's kind of half an inch or half an inch sort of seven to four i guess one and a half inches that's the difference in a good contact or bad contact okay so you kind of get used to where your arms want to come back to which in your case is sort of here but with a four arm when you're that much further away they've got to be there a tiny small little adjustment but you know the golf you know makes a big difference okay so if we can get a routine as we said that starts off by putting that down around the golf. We know the club goes there, then we'll grip the golf club, and once you've got the grip correct in your own sort of way, so your grip could be a little bit different, it's your own little underneath position, that's mm. fine. You haven't really suffered a massive hook with any of the shots there. You said your bad shot generally, if it goes anywhere, goes off the right, so we'll never change that grip. Only look to sort of maybe change the grip, and if it ever does happen, when the ball starts doing that a lot, we go, okay, right, we need to try and work on changing the grip now. But if we go too much too quick, you'll start going further to the right again. So, it's about changing the right amount and the right part and everything else and when it needs to be changed. Not just, oh, that is wrong because the textbook says, I must change it. Yeah. Dustin Johnson has one of the strongest grips in golf. I wouldn't mind his bank balance right now, would he? <laughs> yeah, so right. it's not wrong, okay? It's yeah. the ball as far as anybody. You've got one of the best short games in the world now. Is it wrong? Of course it's not, okay? So it's not technically surround it's sound. If you watch on YouTube videos, so I have a perfect grip, you'd be terrible. Mm. So it's not looking at the textbook. It's whatever you as an individual feel comfortable doing. Yeah, you've got a strong grip. So what? Right. If that grip returns the club back to the golf ball, aiming the club face there, keep doing it. And that, for me, is what a perfect grip is. It's supposed to be comfortable, yeah. helps create power, and return the club back to the golf ball square. How the individual does that, yeah. double overlaps it. Jordan Spieth's really weak. Dustin Johnson's really strong. McElroy's pretty neutral. There's all these yeah. different grips. But OK, whatever returns the club back square, keep doing it. So go through that process of club down first and then grip and then setting our feet, trying to feel a little bit more the similar sort of distance from the golf club every single time. So whether you've got a seven iron, a wedge or a four iron or a longer, any longer club, we're not really reaching out for a longer club now. We're just keeping the arms to hang down from the shoulders in the same position over and over again. Okay, so there's no sort of stretch or reach for it. You're just hanging straight down. All right. Because of that, then now when you come back to this golf ball, there's no need to reach out for the ball that isn't too far over here as you come back to the golf ball. Now the striker, this one we can see, is a lot more out of the middle of the club. I mean, the golf ball there now is striking more towards the middle. It's a little bit toey, even on this slightly offset in the club, there's a little bit of wobble with that club coming back, but not as much, certainly on the left hand side. You can see how that club face now is sort of swinging for impact, being a lot straighter. Whereas this one, if we sort of zoom in, just the actual image of the club how it it just you can see the, that, that sort of that wobble there and the club has sort of recorrect itself here back to straight but there how much it sort of has been deflected and that's going to again lose so much power you feel the club twisting in your hands that's and again right, yeah. the problem is that people can feel the club twisting go right you just get it tighter right. the club twisting is a byproduct of a swing fault or a bad shot right. it's not the club twisted and therefore I hit a bad shot the bad shot creates the club twisting all right yeah. don't then grip the club tighter to try and stop the club twisting because it just get worse you get more and more bad shots and unless you've got a bionic hand that club's going to wobble so if i can bend the club there my hand's doing that like oh, yeah. 80 mile an hour you'll get a lot more force than i am just stuck to doing that and stuff so with that moving there and again if you're having an effect with that contact there very tough to be consistent you'll find your seven iron goes one distance your five iron goes the same your four hand goes the same because well, yeah. all the contacts yeah. are getting weaker and weaker so what you'll find this is the golf club you'll stand the seven iron the correct distance and strike it there it might go we'll say 150 you've got your six iron at the toe of the club here 
goes about 150, your 5 on about here goes about 150, and your 4 on here about 140. Mm. Because you're going to get further and further from the sweet spot, so you're, you're losing more power the further from the sweet spot you're getting. Right. And then again, sometimes guys think they hear this sort of buzzword on you, get more width, more, more distance, more power, more width. They get oh, wider, 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 wider. Mm. And again, as we said, the further away your arms are from the body, the weaker you are. Right. So a club that's robotically on a magic arm, five arms with seven arms, that five would go further. But if you're getting further from it and affecting the contact, you lose a bit. Mm. As the clubs do get longer, try and maintain a similar sort of position over the ball, and then release the ball. You can release the body through. So yeah, <coughs> getting a good shot. As I said, there's nothing wrong with the grip. The club comes back. If we actually watch that goal, ball, you can see it sort of sailing away down the range there. I mean, you're aiming pretty much, I would say, with the mat somewhere down there. That's kind of where your feet are pointing, aren't they? So in that sort of direction there, sort of to end the end of the mound there. So if we watch this ball as you strike it there, sailing down that blue line there, that's pretty good. Sailing away. Pretty straight ball quite to me there. Okay, so your grip there is pretty good. <laughs> I wouldn't change it. Yeah. If you start again, things do evolve through in the golf, okay? As you start changing your setup and you might get a different position in terms of strike, you might now start hitting some hook shots, okay? In some ways, the golf club obviously doing this and opening. The stronger grip could have been a counterbalance and the toe could be sort of getting a couple of square up. Mm. So you might find six months, six weeks, six years, whatever it may yeah. be, you start sucking with a hook, in which case then you might start tweaking that hand. But only change it when it's a fault. Right. If it's a characteristic, keep doing it. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Any good. questions on that at all? No, or that all kind of yet? Understood? Understood. 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 Underst